All right, everybody, it's only the Demon Slayer here again. Try this for the third damn time. All right, Flint, I've got the script for the... I got the script here for the issue number eight. I thought I'd go over it with you. My God, you're asleep. Uh, but Chuck, you promised it me that you'd never sleep. That's the only way you can meet a monthly deadline. How long have you been out? I just fell asleep during Seinfeld. That was three days ago. You're only up to, to page three of issue seven. You could tell that. We've got to come up with a, with a lame excuse for a feeling issue to save our asses. And we'll have to get the people... Who draw much faster than you to do it. You'll think of something. Chuck, you're a friggin' genius. Which means you're not going to help, right? What do I know? What do I know? You're the creative dynamo behind Wall Dog. Law Dog Flint. Whatever. Yes, Stan and Jack used to put themselves in stories we could do the same thing we could show uh, us answering our tons of fan mail that could be the thread that ties the stories together knock yourself out big guy those letters uh three letters i thought we had a solid following on this book go figure anyway here's a good one art cramby from Ten Delo, Iowa wants to know what Law Dog's first mission for the elect was. Reality check. My first job for the elect, I was young, easy, eager, and hot for the assignment. I was grateful to the elect for the second chance at life they'd given me. The mission was specific. Dimensional anomalies had been registering from this plane for months. I was to find the source of the glitch and terminate it. What a shithead I was. Sorry, this book is not broke in. Sounded simple enough. This was back before I questioned everything, took the elect at their word, back before I died about a half dozen times. Place looked empty, sounded empty, didn't feel empty though. I walked into their defenses like a dumb kid. Intruder! No one enters here and lives. But security <clears throat> but security around here was low tech, actually more like a joke. You will screak. Scrack. I wonder if uh, someone with mechanized security this lame could even generate a dimensional anomaly. I had a lot to learn about m making assumptions. All the worlds operate. All the worlds operate on a different set of rules than I was used to. Along the lost highway. There are a million maybe, there are a million maybes and a million possibilities, and even one of them is real in its own place. Even Val, Valdiv, Chris, Krishna, Jal Glom, I have expected someone like you might arrive one day. I knew there must be someone out there on the continuum who could cross the realities as I am attempting and if they sensed my experiments that they might send someone to intercede how far wrong am I not by much I'm an interdictor sent by the elect to create an artificial dimensional anomaly Why did I explain myself? Why didn't I just blow him out of his socks? 
I'm here to see that you don't do it again. Because I was a young shithead, right? So I'm closer than I thought quite so. And do you know the nature of my efforts? What form they take? All of my work is to travel to the world beyond my own. His voice was droning, hypnotic, not just any world. I have a very ex exacting demand of my destination. It, it will not be a place strange to me, but one most familiar. You see, I was not always the twisted thing you see before you. I was a whole man, and I had one who loved me. She died in the same explosion that left me thus that explosion that left me thus my first experiment with an alternate realities and since then i have worked to find a world close to the one i had I held so dear a world where casimera did not die because of my failings surely you dreamt of a world where you where your mistakes are forgiven a world where you can start anew I damned him then for that glimpse into my darkest wish. I damn him now. And if you find a reality like that, won't there be a counterpart to yourself there? What will you do about him? That is the simplest part of my plan. I will kill him. His voice took on a raspy chuckle. Just like this you can see why i <clears throat> don't like telling this story uh who knows interdictor perhaps we will meet again on some other plane but you will not know me then will you i was dead and i knew it dusted on my first mission like a rookie puke puke and I wasn't going to be the only one who had his day ruined. This guy broke the rules. He screwed with the continuum. He screwed with the elect. I am coming, Casimira. I am coming, my love. And he screwed with me. That last rule's a bitch. Should have wasted the creep at first sight. Should have. Shouldn't have pissed away my chances. I never did find out if I capped the ugly bastard like it matters. He was never going to find that dream of his. No matter how many realities he traveled across. So I guess the joke's on him. Right? There's the end of that story. Why don't you ever write a story like that for me? No, you're as no, you're as the Tino's amigos. Get all your best stuff. Your Argentinians, okay, Argentinos amigos. Get all your best stuff. I told you that story last week, and you said you hated it. That was last week. I want that kind of story a British writer would pen. I want a story full of human drama, a conveyance for my tortured artistic soul. Yeah, and lots of tits and blood. And that's very important. Want an Oreo? They're double stuff. Our next letter is from Kit Wendigo from San Lupo, California. Kit wants to know how Lina escaped from Dr. Friend. And the cleaners. I wanted to do that story. And you could have if you didn't hog the last few issues with those big McFarlane panels. So have Novak letter smaller. Love is strange. This is Gary Kwapowski. is the artist. I guess it's how you say his name. Let's let go. Don't touch me. Don't touch me there. Ugh, you dickheads are in real trouble when Law Dog gets back.
You'll be wearing your assholes for hats. Yeah, Law Dog is going to blast you all into next year. Yeah. Who am I kidding? Law Dog's dead, Lina. All that bullshit about coming back was bullshit. What is all this? A bit of problem getting this one secured, Dr. Fring. I don't think she's a debtor, sir. Of course she's not a rotter. Uh, Felker, I can see that. Where do you come from? There are no living settlements around here. You take my clothes and the and tie me down and you want answers? Get her get her bound and leave her with me. I will see to her test myself. Get her ankles. Yes, Dr. Freeman. Are you sure you don't need assistance, Doctor? From incompetence, leave me be. What's this all about? Are you guys really doctors? We administer the to the living. We can help. You can help us in that. It's unusual to find so healthy a specimen as yourself. Watch who you're calling a specimen. Early analysis shows you remarkably free from the rot. You say the nicest things, Doc. Your serums and fluids should make the basis for a strong antivirus. I could save hundreds from the same fate as those walking uh, de de Tartus my men saved you from. And what happens to me after you take my fluids? You'll be dead and you'll be incinerated, but think of all the good you'll have done. There's something I want to tell you, Doctor. What is it? I don't want anyone else to hear. No need for modesty. What is it? Closer, Doc. I want to whisper it. I have little time for this sort. But you want to hear what I have to tell you, right? Yes. Yes, I do. Closer. Mmm. Mmm, crunch. Patu. Yeah, my dung. Like I asked. Like I asked to come here. Besides, it's your fault for enjoying it, pervert. You meant your double or Yes. Shouldn't talk with your mouth full, Doc. Girl, you, you girl, you bitch. Doctor Friend, did you call for us, Doctor? Ooh. Girl, you. Doctor, do you need assistance? Doctor Friend, the doctor is out. They would cut off my. Cl they would cut my clothes off of me. Now, how do I get off this, this, this oriented express? Dr. Friend, this couldn't be easy, right? One, two, three. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hope I did the right thing. Sure you did, Lina girl. What's, what could be worse than having some lunatics chop you up for parts? Having some lunatics chop you up for sushi. Back where I was, back where I was before that goofy train stopped for me. At least then I had my clothes. E. Cold. Oh damn! This is the pits. Shit. Hope you losers hate frozen food, cause I'm too cold to give you a fight. Oh jeez, Splock Goose. Woo. Whoa, if you're here to take me back to that train, train, she must be talking about the cleaners, Dana. You been on the Zombie Express, huh? Then you're not with Dr. Friend? That bastard, no way. We're from a fort, we're from Fort Neville. Got a barricade set up to keep the debtors out. You got a boyfriend or anything? Later for that, Brad. Let's not say, stay in one place too long. Forgive my brother. We don't get many new people around here, especially girls. That white streak in your hair looks cool. White, how'd you get it? I guess I earned it. And in... 
Oh, sure, get your big muscle-bound buddy Gary to bail us out. He's your buddy too, Flint. Oh, throw that in... Oh, throw that in my face. Our final letter is from Vinny Varutin from Austin, Austin in New York. I don't know. He wants to know when Captain Danger and Speed Break are going to show up again. Hello, Neil. I want a new writer on my book. Dixon doesn't respond to my needs. Clint Henry, I work on Law Dog. No Law Dog. It's an ongoing monthly from Epic. We had to take Iron Man's letterer out to lunch. He didn't talk to you. He didn't talk to you. He had to take Iron Man's letterer out to lunch. Letterers are important too, Flint. Corn Belt City Megalo Megalopolis Megalopolis of the Midwest. If you know that the cow pie dappled fields surrounding this great municipality hid the lair of its city's greatest defenders, the Danger Barn. Deep beneath the haylofts and Feed, feed rooms uh, of this innocent-looking barn lies the secret crime-fighting headquarters of Captain Danger and Speed Breaking. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Snap out of it, Cap. How can I speed break? My whole world is turned upside down. I mean, what's the point of going on? Jeez, you are depressed. Shouldn't I be, old pal? The Quizzler, my arch nemesis, is murdered, killed by a hit-and-run driver just as I was about to apprehend him. Oh, the irony. Buck up, Cap. You can always move one of, the, one of these other creeps to your number one spot. You've still got the... Uh... Os, os, ostrich... Mudhead, bug man, mink woman, the silver cockroach. It's not the same. The Quizzler and I came up together. He was my first for when I was just a young vigilante looking to make a name. Our battle of wits, my intimate good, my in, innate goodness and detective skills versus his madness and penchant for puzzles had spanned decades until that bitch in the muscle car ran him down like a common jaywalker. <laughs> wow, Cap, I've never seen this side of you. Get used to it. I'm tired of being walked over and laughed at. There's going to be some changes made, speed break. My ideas about crime and punishment are outdated, chum. Old hat. It's time to get with the flow. What's that mean? It means that the thugs and evildoers and naysayers of uh, Corn Belt City have little time to repent. There's going to be some ass-kicking of major proportions going down. Not the challenge chamber. If you're not out here when I come out, I'll understand. I'll be here, Cap. The challenge chamber. The home to the secret arsenal of Captain Danger. No man but he knows what terrible engines of destruction are stowed within. All through the night, speed breaking Captain's loyal boy sidekick of the last 20 years waits. The sun is setting over the prairies far above when Scree Cap No Captain Danger is no more. Today's the day of the Dangerator
The costume, the guns, are you serious about this? Serious as a heart attack, baby. Nobody respects that fair play crap anymore. Force is where it's at. We're going to clean this town up, and it's going to stay clean. And you've, and you've thought about this? Thanking for the wimp. Thanking for the wimps. It's time to react. Okay, so who do we mow down first? The gerbil? The masked lumberjack? Those psychos can wait on the back burner, son. We've got a bigger fish to fry. Like who? That little bitch who ran over the Quizzler. She's gonna pay for that. Is there something about your relationship with the Quizzler you never told me, Cap? What have you heard? Nothing, it's just that. Then shut up, okay? Just shut up. <laughs> yeah. Everybody gets to do real... Everybody gets to do really cool stories, but me, way. Look, Flint, I need you to keep it... Keep in continuity. You help me weave the delicate web of continuity and subs, substance that... Separates Law Dog from the rest of the crap on the stands. I have long range plans for this series. I know what's going to happen two years from now on this book. Okay, Mr. Long Range. What's the next issue about? Uh, next issue? Well, it's, um, um, uh, yeah. A big monster is attacking, it, it attacks Law Dog and Lina and knocks down a lot of buildings, all right? You're amazing. I don't know where you get your inspiration from. Incredible. You know, you know, you're really too good to be working with a schlub like me. Phew. All right, that's the end of Law Dog number eight. And I'll do uh, number nine. I'm going to try to do number nine here tomorrow. All right, see you guys.